Hello YouTube. Today, me and Deer Hunter 101, we're going to be out here in the woods and we're going to be making a video teaching guys how to make a A-frame survival shelter. So, we're going to be cutting down trees and stuff and we're going to make an A-frame survival shelter and take you guys with and show you guys how to build one. So, if you ever get caught in an emergency situation, you can build one. So, let's go. So now we had this dead tree that we cut off and it was pretty big around. So now this is our ridge pole. It's quite sturdy. It's not going to go anywhere. And now we'll show you what to do now. You can scrape out the stuff underneath it, but we're not going to do that. We'll do that when we're done. So. Yeah, now we're going to cut up all the trees that we've been cutting down over here. We're going to take all these trees and we're going to cut them up and we're going to lay them up along. And then we'll show you what to do from there. Here we are. We've got it this far done. We haven't finished this side. This side over here, we're not going to do this side. So we can show you the inside easier. So... Yeah, and we'll finish the other si side some other time. But now we're just going to finish up the very end right here. And then we're going to show you what to do from there. So, now we're going to finish it. Finish putting the logs down and then we'll show you what to do next. So, here it is. We got the logs all laid across. That's what it looks like from the other side. We're not going to do the other side today. We're just going to do this side. So now... We're going to go and we're going to get some ferns and we're going to weave them in between. And then after that, we're going to go up this big hill and across the prairie grass area and get some pine branches and put those across. And then lastly, we're going to take some of the tops that we cut down from on the trees. And we're going to take those tops and we're going to lay them down across so it's waterproof. So now let's get some ferns. Or if you don't have ferns, you can use something else or something like that that'll work pretty good to keep heating. We got the ferns laid on it. We got them laid so that it, they, the water runs off. We might put some more up here, just a few more up top. But now we're going to go cut a few pine branches and lay those on to um, help run off water and keep them so they don't blow away. And yeah, so it's coming along pretty good and we're pretty much almost done. So we're going to finish up the top here and then we are going to move on to go get some pine boughs. So let's go. We cut down a bunch of pine boughs from up over the hill and across the prairie grass area. So we got a bunch of pine boughs. Now we're going to lay them down. Here it is. We got the pine boughs laid down and then we got them held down so the little branches don't stick up with those boards and I bet nobody can guess where Deer Hunter, Deer Hunter 101 went. Does anybody see him? I bet nobody sees him. Let's walk around and look over here. He's laying down in there. It looks really good in here. That's what it looks like from the inside. It looks pretty waterproof. Someday we'll have to test this out on a rainy day. And, but we're not even finished yet. We gotta 
we have one more thing that we have to do. All up from some of the trees we cut, cut cut down, we're gonna take the tops and we're gonna lay their branches down along here. So it gives one more little layer of waterproofness and to keep in heat. So let's do that and we're gonna show you the final product. So here it is. We put a bunch we put a bunch of the branches down. You can see them there. And then we took a bunch of the surrounding scenery, like all the um weeds and ferns and um stuff like that and we laid them down along the top to blend it in see look at how much it blends in with the rest besides all of our trampled down stuff here it's pretty camouflage and i'll show you what it looks like on the inside crawl on the inside here So here I'm laying inside of it. I'm leaning up against this post here. It's about a foot thick of stuff here. There's some gaps in here, but that's fine. So this is really nice. Now see if we would adjust some other time when I take the time or when me and Deer Hunter 101 feel like it, we'll put on this other side here. And we'll put a little bit more stuff on there when the stuff browns up. And, yeah, this is really nice. So, this is the end of this video. I hope you like our A-frame shelter. Or half of an A-frame shelter that we built. So, this is the end of this video. Please like and subscribe. Check out PA Outdoors um, channel. And bye. This is the only tools that we use to build this whole shelter. We use the Fishgar, Fishgar um, hatchet. It's pretty. It's really nice. I've had this hatchet for quite a while. And then the next tool we use, we use two of these: a proof garden saw. Got a picture of a quail, I think it is, on there. We used two of those. And that's all we used.